Hey what's going on guys? Welcome to my new video, a GoDaddy website builder video, where today I'm going to show you how to build a cool website just like this one in about 20 minutes using a free theme from WordPress. I'm going to be walking you guys through step by step showing you how everything works. I'm also going to show you guys how we're going to get a great deal on GoDaddy website hosting that also includes a free domain and an automatic WordPress installation. So even if you guys have no experience building websites whatsoever, that's totally okay because like I said, I'm going to walk you through the entire process step by step. I'm also going to show you guys too how to get access to this awesome library of free website themes all on WordPress. As you can see, there's almost 4,000 to choose from. So in case you don't like the design of this one, there's tons of other ones to choose from and all you have to do is do a one click install which I'll show you guys how to do so you can change the look of your website with just one click if you want to. Okay but before we get started I'm just going to go over a couple of things, explain to you guys about the process and how it works so you better understand it and then we'll move on to building our actual website with GoDaddy. Website hosting is basically where your website is going to live online. It's where all your content is stored from your videos to your pictures and everything else that's on your website is stored there. And another way I like to explain this to people is like this. Think if you were going to build a house. Before you can actually start building, you would need the land to put the house on. So just try to think of the domain name or the website as the house and then the hosting as the land. Website hosting normally costs anywhere from $60 to $100 a year, sometimes more. But today, I'm going to show you how we're going to get website hosting for just a dollar a month that also includes a free domain name and an automatic WordPress installation. Your website domain is the address of your website. So for example, a couple of domain names are ebay.com, google.com, youtube.com. You get the idea. Okay guys, so now that we got that stuff out of the way, we can move on to the next step, which is to install our website hosting. So what we're going to do first is head over to the discount page on my website, which is createwpsite.com slash hosting dash deals. You guys can type that in or you can click the link in the description below. So once we get here, this is the page and all we're going to do is click on this GoDaddy coupon here and that will automatically apply the discount code for us. Okay, so now this video is going to cut to a separate video that I made earlier where I'm going to be showing you how to install our hosting and get our free domain name and then also install WordPress. And the only difference you're going to notice in that video is the price. When I made that video, the price was $249 a month, but as you can see now, the price is on sale for just a dollar a month. I'm not really sure how long this price drop is going to last, but for the time being, it is active. So it's definitely a great time to buy if you're looking to get a discounted price. So then after we install the hosting and WordPress, I'll be back and we can start building the actual website. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to do is click on this green get started button. And this is where we're going to choose our free domain name. So whatever you want your website to be called, you can check here to see if it's available. And once you decide on a name, you can just enter it here. I'm going to enter mine. And now I'm going to click on search to see if it's available. Okay, it is. So I'm going to click on select and continue. And as you can see, our promo code has been applied to our entire year of hosting. So we got the discount, which is cool. And now we're just going to click on create account. All right, and now we're going to fill out this form for our GoDaddy account. And some of this information is going to be blurred out just for privacy reasons, obviously. But all we're going to do is enter our email address. If you don't have one, I just recommend maybe going to Google and signing up for a free Gmail account. And then you're going to come up with a username and a password and then also a PIN number. And these can be anything you want. Just make sure you guys save all this info somewhere so when you need to log into GoDaddy, you can. So now I'm just going to enter in my information. Okay, and then after we have all that filled out, we're just going to click this green create account button. Okay, now I'm just going to put my billing info in. All 
All right, and once that's all done, we can go ahead and click on Save. Okay, now I'm going to be using a card to pay. They also have PayPal too. You guys can choose any method you like though. They'll all take us to the same place in the end, so it doesn't matter which one you choose. All right, now my payment info is in, so I'm just gonna click on this blue save button. And then we're ready to complete the purchase, so we're just gonna click on this green button here. All right, guys, and that's it. We got our hosting now, and we're ready to move on to the next step. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is click on this blue add site button. And then we're just going to leave everything like it is, build a brand new site, and then wherever it's recommended, you can just uh, put it there. And now we're going to uh, come up with a WordPress username and password. So just like for the other stuff, just come up with a username and a password, and then uh, make sure you save that information somewhere. Okay, and then after you do that, you can just click on Add. And this is just currently installing WordPress for us. Alright, and that's it. WordPress is installed. That's the uh, simple one-click WordPress install right there for you. And uh, now we're just going to click on this blue WP Admin button. And then once we get to this page, just go ahead and click on No Thanks. and that will just automatically take you to your WordPress dashboard. And this is the place where you go whenever you want to edit your site. Okay guys, so before we do anything, we're going to go verify our email from GoDaddy, and so we're just gonna go to our email accounts, and there should be a uh, email from GoDaddy that says, uh, please verify your email address. And here's mine, and just click on verify email now. Okay, and that's it. It's been um, verified. Okay, now I'm back over on my WordPress dashboard, and I'm just going to refresh this page right here. And then after you do that, where it says no, just click on change domain. And now click on add domain. And find your uh, domain right here. Mine's already selected. And uh, make sure this is selected. Uh, it says make this primary domain for the account. And then after you have everything selected, hit uh, Add. Okay, and we're just going to wait on this to update. Just take a couple minutes. All right, now that's been updated. And what that just did is change the uh, location of everything that we're going to be making on our WordPress website. So it's no longer to uh, this FTP upload site. It's now going to all be on our main domain. Okay, guys, and now I'm going to show you how you log into your WordPress account anytime you need to edit something on your site. So what we're going to do is uh, open up a new tab and then you're going to take your website and you're going to put it in and then you're going to put slash wp-admin after the dot com or dot net whatever your uh, domain is and then after that click enter and then when it comes up here all you do is uh, put in your account information that you created earlier. So again, it's just your domain name slash WP dash admin anytime you want to log into your WordPress account. All right, so I just put my information in. Now I'm just going to click log in. And now this will take us right back to the WordPress dashboard. And now we can start finally building the actual site. All right, so now since we got our domain and we got hosting installed and WordPress installed, we can start building the actual website. So if we go and take a look at our website right now, you'll see that it's completely blank with no content. So what we're going to do first is go back to our dashboard here. And then we're going to install our theme. So what we're going to do first is go over here to Appearance, and then we're going to click on Themes. And once we get here, we're going to click on Add New Theme. And these are all the different WordPress templates you can use. You guys can check them all out if you want. Like you can see right there, there's over 3,000 of them right here, all for free. But the theme we're going to be using is called Hitchcock. So if you go over here to the search and type that in, 
This is the theme right here that we're going to be using. And we're just going to go over here and click on install. And then click on activate. Okay, now if we go up here, we can click on visit site so we can see the new theme and this is what it looks like. And while we're right here, I'm actually going to show you guys how to change the header image. So if you go back up there to customize and then click on header image, you can just go right here and click on add new image. You can take your header image, just drop it in, then hit select and crop, and then just place that where you want it to, and then click crop image. And then you'll see that has changed the background for us. And then just click on publish. And you guys can keep that the same if you want, or you can change it like I did. And if you guys need any free stock photos to use for your website, you can just go to pexels.com and they have tons of free images. And that's where I got the images that I'm going to be using for this website. Okay, so I'm just going to close this out and then we're gonna head back to our dashboard okay so what we're gonna do now is go over here to settings and then we're gonna click on general and this is where we're going to edit our site title here and then also our tagline so now I'm actually just going to edit my site title and now I'm gonna go down here and edit the tagline and so then after you update those, just go down to the bottom and click on the save button. And now my settings are saved and we're ready to move on to the next step. Now we're going to go over to the post sections and we're just going to click here on post. Okay, and what we're going to do once we get here is just get rid of this sample post here. Put move to trash, then click apply. And if you guys ever want to delete any posts that you have, that's how you do it. And now we're just going to come up here to posts and click on add new. And this here is going to be our first post. So the way you set up a post is pretty much the same way you set up a page too. You just add your title here and then down here is where all your content goes. So what I'm going to do first is add my title here. And then I'm just going to go down here and put in some example text just so you guys get an idea of how it's going to look. And you guys can also go here and click on this plus sign and you can, as you see, you can add images or uh, any, basically any type of media you want just by uh, clicking the image button and then uploading the image that you want. And now I'm just going to go over here to categories and as you can see there's no categories right now, just the uncategorized category. And if you guys want to add different categories for your um, post, you can just by going here and clicking on add new category. And then just clicking on add new category again. Okay, and then we're going to go to our featured image. And this is basically the image that's going to be seen before the actual post just to introduce you to the post and what you'll see on the home page. So if you click on set featured image and then I'm just going to come here and drop my file in and then I'm going to click on select as you can see it's right there. Okay and now after that the post is ready to go and we can just click on publish and click on publish again and now if we go and visit our home page you'll see this is what it looks like there's our post there's the image and our title and our text okay so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna create 14 other posts the same way that I did this first post and then once I do that I'll be back okay guys so I just finished making my last post and this is how it looks after you've added in 15 posts. Here's the second page. And what we're going to do now is go and add some more pages that will show up up here. So to do that, we're going to go back over here to our dashboard. 
then we're going to go over here to pages and then we're going to click on add new and like I said before the setup for the page is pretty much the same thing as it is for a post you add your title here and then this is where the content goes so whatever pages that you guys feel are appropriate for your website you can just add them here And then for this, we're not going to put any featured image or anything like that. Just once you put in your content you want and then you got your title, just go up here and click publish. Now I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to click on add new so I can create another page. And I'm probably going to do this about two to three more times and then I'll be back. Okay, so I just finished making my last page, so we're going to go over here to our home page, and as you can see, the new pages are up here, and I'm actually going to go over to my pages now, and I'm going to get rid of this sample page right here. Then I'm going to come back over here and refresh this. Okay, now that sample page is gone and it only has the pages that I want up there now. Alright guys, and just like that we have our website made. We got all our posts up with our featured images. And now it's your guys' job to go and fill your site with all of your own content. So I hope this video has been helpful to you guys. And if you got any questions, you can leave it in the comments section below. Don't forget to check out my channel for other cool videos just like this one. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.